Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Vermont Scale Customs. Here we are for another uh, another diecast video. Uh, as you can see, I decided to build yet another spare parts rig. I dove into all of the parts bins, uh, pulled out like a old blue treel skid, some old high clearance links, factory rails, uh, some Injora double barrel shocks. This got an Injora purple motor along with a single speed Metal Gear transmission. I threw uh, an FPV King 5 amp uh, dual output ESC um, that I had used for an MOA into this thing. And while it's a little bit of coggy, you know, slow start kind of ESC, um, it's got plenty of juice to run this motor. So I really like it a lot. It doesn't stall out at all. Um, it's got plenty of power. What you're hearing is pretty much obviously just gear noise. And, uh, this is all slowed down too, so 27% for the 127 scale. Just decided to try that number out for no apparent reason. I really like the looks of this thing. Um, obviously it doesn't have an interior and see a bunch of wires and the doors aren't closed. The doors got, have gotten glued shut since yesterday and I'm contemplating doing like a pseudo interior where I cut the top of the seats off of the original stuff that came with it and then glue those down to some sort of like fake floor inside maybe throw half a driver there in there or something along those lines. I had to make the roof for this thing. This was one of those that came from Walmart and it was like $9.99. And I think because it didn't have the roof on it is the reason why it was so cheap. So anyway, I made uh, this little one out of tin and it is what it is. I just kind of wanted to put this, you know, die cast on yet another spare parts rig. Really no investment in this whatsoever except for the body. And I bought the body a few months ago along with the FJ Cruiser when I purchased that. Um, so yeah, uh, I just think the size of this thing kind of mixed in with everything it's surrounding is it just sort of fits really well in a couple of spots. And so kind of liking this truck for for all it's worth, as simple as it is, you know. Um, I think it actually performs a little bit better than the FJ for obvious reasons. It's not uh, an almost two pound rig. I didn't even weigh this, so I can't even tell you how much it weighs. Uh, but it needs uh, flat skid. Definitely needs to have the underside cleaned up a little bit. Maybe rock sliders. I don't really plan on putting too much money into this. I did order some uh, VF Goodrich uh, KR3s uh, from RC Four Wheel Drive, and then also two competition bead locks for this from them as well. So gonna see how those work out. Uh, the tires are gonna be about one and a half millimeters taller than what's on here. I didn't want to go too much bigger. Um, and this is a prime example of why you don't put 31s or 33s on your rig when you're out in the real world. I think that's kind of what would almost be, uh, I don't know, these are probably more equivalent to like 40s in real life. But anyway, this thing gets belly hung right here. And uh, yeah, it finally makes it through. But it takes a second. But it's a good up. This is actually direct tv gap right here for obvious reasons but this is a i don't know just a fun little gap for the micros it seems to uh kind of be a challenge for all of them in their own special way some of them can do it some of them can't it seems to be that the way this thing is weighted and just i don't know the size of the wheels and tires and everything of the tires on here are really kind of definitely are an advantage you would think with a die cast body that would be really heavy but it's not that bad at all seems to be pretty planted. This next clip is kind of proof of that. I'm really happy with the proportions on this. This is JLU length. Um, JLU front, JLU rear. And I used one of those ramp crab servos that allows you to be able to... Um, well, dare I say, there's just a ton of options that you can mount this with. And so the servo's set really far back and that gives the front end full motion without interfering with the grill up front as you can see i had to do a little bit of grinding with the dremel to take some of the material off but nothing too crazy and uh that's about it these are some old shocks from forever ago i think i had them set up on a fury tech scythe um, from a long time ago this is just an emacs servo uh running on fly sky radio with my gt3 and uh once again you know nothing special just a fun rig i've got enough of this stuff laying around now at this point that i can kind of throw some trucks together i've built two spare spare parts rigs over the course of the last couple weeks just purely for fun wanted to do some of the die cast bodies that i had sitting around so now these have homes 
and uh yeah just running trucks out having some fun last night so thanks for watching thanks for being here should have some more tf2 stuff coming up soon i think by this weekend i can get myself into gear get those edited see you later bye